Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. We are live streaming today, and so if you want to throw in a thumbs up, go ahead and do that. Let me know when you jump on live so that I can know that you're here and I can interact with you. The live streams are fully for you guys, and so I want to say a big thank you to those of you who are very faithful to my Thursday 11 a.m. Central Standard Time live streams. Um, I love the Q&A. I get a lot of ideas for new videos from you guys, and I also am able to put out a lot more content that's specific specific to what you guys actually want to hear about. So today I've got a fun topic on how I'm going to sell some things that are um, not that might not be selling online. Obviously I do majority online reselling, but what do I do with the stuff that won't sell? So I'm going to tell you kind of my plan that I've got in the next couple of days, do some extra, extra filming of that plan, and then also find out from you guys what you guys want to know. So if you are live, go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button and then say hello. Uh, Red Silk Sheets Lady T says, sweet, she's the first one on. And awesome. She is. Yes, very good. All right, so uh, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who are my regular patron supporters. It really gives me the opportunity to put out more content on a regular basis. And those of you who don't know, I put out a video every single day. Um, I don't think I've missed one in the last little bit. I mean, the only thing I think I would miss one is if I was like dying sick. So, and even then I've done videos. So, um, we're getting ready to uh, prep for a yard sale. And so that's part of the process. I'm going to talk to you about um, of exactly what we're going to be doing. But um, I want to kind of talk to you about my uh, last year's garage sale. How many do we have on right now? Three. Three. All right. So <laughs> the, the notifications will be coming in pretty soon. So um, um, say hello if you're on. Right. Bertha Press says, hi, I like your contact. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right, contact or content? Probably content. Maybe content. Yeah, it probably auto-corrected on her. All right, so um, some upcoming things that you got uh, to look forward to is I've got some um, health and beauty palettes that, of course, you've seen before, but um, some of them are a little bit different than I've gotten lately. I've got two bulk palettes, huge ones, that I just received yesterday that I'll be unboxing in the very near future. And so I expect to see some shoes and some other clothing items in those. And then I have some more assorted shoes. For those of you who checked out my assorted shoe palette um, from Via Trading, every single pair of those shoes are on my Poshmark store in the link in the description below. So a lot of you, um, sometimes you can't find my link. It's not under Hooked on Pickin'. It's actually under my husband's name, Paul Hooks. And even when you search that way, it's not super user friendly. So just follow the link in the description below on any of my videos um, and you should be able to find it just fine. Yes. Uh, Mina, uh, I believe it's Clueless, says hi. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. And then uh, Fat Elvis Goods says, <laughs> how long do you hold on to your product before you get rid of it? Well, sometimes I think I hold on to it too long. Um, anything I send to the Amazon warehouse usually leaves my facility within about a week. Um, and so I said facility like it's some big, huge space. It's 720 square feet of a basically detached garage. But... Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I try to move it within six months. Um, some of this stuff I've had a little bit longer than six months, but partly I've had a longer because it uh, got unlisted on eBay. I didn't really want to relist it on eBay, and so I was kind of trying to think about what to do with it. And so we're going to have a massively huge garage sale. So if you live anywhere near the St. Louis area, come see me uh, this Saturday. We'll be having a huge garage sale. I'm going to post it on my Hooked on Pickin' website um, once we're all set up and have everything set up. So um, check that out. I'll put the dates and times on there and the location on my Hooked on Pickin' website. Uh, Bertha Perez says, yes, content, not contact. I yes. like Heather's contact too, but <laughs> yes, content. I've been watching you for a while and I'm really learning a lot from you. Thank you so much uh, for you being you. God bless. Awesome. And then uh, Mr. Tasman69 says, hi, Heather from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, man, I wish I was there right now. Myrtle Beach. Man, I went awesome. to Myrtle Beach one time, and it was when I was in training with the reserves because we drove over from yeah. Fort Jackson, South Carolina. So I had yeah. this dream of retiring and being the old guy with the metal detector on some beach. Yes. Yes, he and has a metal detector in our closet. Finding closet. gold doubloons, um, pirate treasure. Anyway. That's, He'll be the one that finds the stash. That's my yes. dream, Mr. Tasman69. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so six months is about as long as I'd like to keep anything, but really if I have it over a month, it's a little bit too long. So I try to do a lot of price adjusting. Um, 
So check out my Hooked on Pickin' Facebook page for the upcoming garage sale. And then um, you really want to go to hookedonpickin.com because basically um, it will be listed there until Saturday uh, and then you can't have access to that. So I've got a lot of things going on with that. So this is one of my mystery box toy lots. Um, one of the totes that I keep for a lot of my toy lot mystery boxes that I saw on my Hooked on Pickin' page. So... Yes, it's the kitty from the Lego movie. And I've got some hover balls and some games and things like that. So if you see anything in here that you specifically want or see have seen me unbox a specific toy that you're like, hey, do you still have that? You can actually send me an email at hookedonpickin.com whenever you order a mystery box and request a specific toy be put in it. So um, just be aware of that if you see something specific that's not listed individually on my website. Yeah. Red Silk Sheets Lady says, I live in the middle of nowhere. Do you have any ideas how I could do a yard sale? Hmm. Um, yard sale sites on Facebook are a good draw for people. Um, and then try to put signs in the closest, largest population you have to you. Um, I used to live in the middle of nowhere uh, when we lived in Yarmouth. Literally 68 people in the town. I'm not joking. 68 people. So there was a massive population decrease when my family moved. But... Um, yeah, we've done yard sales there before, but you have to do a lot of social media kind of blasts to get people to come. Um, and also be willing to maybe ship some things so you can take a lot of photos and list it on Facebook and things like that and be willing to ship to them if they are willing to pay the shipping. And I just use USPS.com to do all my calculated shipping on that kind of stuff. So you can actually make deals with people on Facebook where they can pay you um, you know, through PayPal and things like that. And you can send invoices uh, that way to get stuff that to people who live further away. Yes. Uh, Mr. Tasman 69 says, come back uh, to Myrtle Beach. There's some wholesale pallet places here. One is North Myrtle Beach Wholesale. Nice. That's exactly where I'm retiring. Yeah. Now on. Yep. I just found it's right it. right next to, then I'll run my business. As long and as can, I can metal detect. Yeah. Paul That's all can. I care about. <laughs> Sherry Smith says, when selling on Amazon, do you use keyword programs to get your listings to show up on the first couple of pages? Okay, so when selling on Amazon, I sell on listings that are already created. I have created a few of my own listings on Amazon, but it's very, very time consuming and very hard to get traffic like you said. Keywords are a huge option, and yes, I do use keyword uh, programs. The the one I use the most is Amazon Scout Pro. I've done a walkthrough on how exactly you use that program, so check it out. I also have um, a link that I think it has a discount code attached to it, so check it out. I usually have the Amazon Scout Pro link in my description of all my newer videos, so it'll be in the description of this video, so check it out if you want to um, look at that. It's a really neat program. It does more than just keywords, and so that's what I use the most when I'm creating my listings on Amazon. Uh, Mace Crawford says hi. Hi, Mace. Glad and, you jumped on live. <laughs> and then uh, Tillian1000 says, hey, what place would you recommend to buy a pallet slash case uh, from an eBay seller or for an eBay seller? Um, I would say probably via trading would be the best option. Um, now, Bulk does a full manifest, and so you can find out exactly what the item is for the most part and then you can do research on ebay but via trading is the roll the dice kind of uh pallet place and so i would recommend them as well uh, those are my kind of my top two that i know the most about i've got a new pallet coming from a new place as well i've also bought from honcho wholesale is another one um 888 lots um those are all good viable options for purchasing uh pallets so yeah uh, let's see, uh, Mischievous says, is listing or shipping more time consuming? Um, I would say listing. Um, listing, depending on the platform. Uh, listing on Amazon, I can, it's really fast, but listing on eBay and Poshmark is probably more time consuming, although it's way streamlined than when I used to do it way back in the day. Uh, do you remember the days where you'd use your digital camera, take a photo, upload it onto your computer, crop it, edit it, and then have to make the listing? No longer. Now you can just list directly from your smartphone. So it is a lot faster than it used to be about 10 years ago when we used to you know, list on eBay. But um, for eBay and Poshmark, listing takes the longest time. As far as shipping, I don't really think that it's super time consuming because I got a decent setup where I can just um, use my Dymo printer, label, writer, and that usually really makes it a lot more efficient because then I don't have to tape the labels onto the box. It just sticks right on with the label maker. 
Very good. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button yeah. there. I think we're at nine thumbs up. That awesome. really helps. Yeah, if you like this content, go ahead and hit the like button um, and the thumbs up button. If you can't find the thumbs up button, you need to close the live chat, hit the like button, and then reopen the live chat, and that usually helps. Also, if you also like the content, there is an option to donate only while we're doing the live feed. You can't do it after the fact. So if you're watching after the fact, awesome. Enjoy the content. I'm super excited you're, you're watching. Go ahead and hit your notification button so you'll be notified anytime I go live because I occasionally do evening live streams. Not very often because I'm always at a sporting event with my kids, but um, hit that notification uh, bell so that you'll always know when I do come on live. It's usually around 11 o'clock Central Standard Time most Thursdays. And then... Um, also, you can hit the subscribe button and then that way you'll know anytime I put a new video out. And most of my new videos go out about noon or one o'clock on most days. Uh, Mace Crawford asks, when you're selling on eBay, do you charge shipping or do you give free shipping? Um, anything less than a pound, I offer free shipping, but I take into consideration that I may have to pay up to $4 depending on how far away I have to ship it. It may be $2 if it's in a neighboring state, $4 if it's really far away. Um, but if it weighs over a pound, I always do calculated shipping. And worldwide, I always do calculated shipping as well. Very good. Alicia Cole says, hello, Hooks from Oklahoma. Hey, how's it going? I think we're caught up now. All right, perfect. So kind of the process that we're taking is we're taking like this is a Lego box of stuff that I have. Um, I, I separated out a lot of the actual colored Lego pieces and random other things. Legos, some mega blocks, they do fit with Legos, but I've got this big tote that I'm probably, um, well, I'm not sure. How much do you think that I should sell it for? So go ahead and comment. Let me know how much you would sell this Lego thing for. Do you want to get closer? We can kind of zoom in. Yeah, see. it's pretty full it's of pretty full a mixture bottom. of Legos and Mega Blocks, and then these were a whole bunch of boxes that we found in a liquidation that Have are missing. Yeah, they've been open and they're missing. They're not complete, but we thought, meh. You know, we'll yeah. disclose that. But, so uh, let me yeah. know if you were doing a garage sale, how much would you charge for this bit of Legos? We're thinking all the everything in that whole tote. Yeah, we want to sell it all so. in one big lot. And then yep. um, I've got some toys here. How much would you charge for these types of things? Um, just so that I get a ballpark of what, you know, people would like to pay for them. And then this is a really, oh, I wanted to show you these things. See these awesome? Aren't these gorgeous? These are domino board holders or Scrabble hole, uh, board holders. Scrabble pieces are a little bit small, but these are for dominoes. Um, my mother-in-law loves to play dominoes. It's one of the few things she can still do really well. Um, and so my father-in-law actually creates these. So this is solid oak um, with a walnut stain. And so they're very sturdy and they're being sold in sets of four on ebay um so check my ebay store in the link below um and you'll be able to find these these are amazing and i've got a bunch of them and if you want multiple sets or you want more than just four you can buy you know two sets of eight and all that so they're really they're really sold in a set of four aren't they yeah they're sold in a set of four but i've got more than this more than just four i think i've got five or six sets so check that out uh, and purchase those those are amazing um and then I've got, these are things that are left over from one of my HBA lots. Nothing is expired. Everything is brand new, still complete. Um, but I've got bath bombs. How much would you pay for those at a garage sale? Um, shave cream. And all of these still have the seals on them. Um, and they're in good shape. The reason why they're going to end up in my garage sale is because um, there wasn't enough room on most of the platforms I looked them up. Like these, totally brand new. I've got four still in the original box. A Vino fresh greens blend conditioner and so these are brand new never been opened but after fees because the bottle weighs a little bit um, it was I was only gonna make like 30 cents and so it's not worth it for me to send those in um, and so I'm gonna sell them at my garage sale but how much would you sell them for I've also got like probiotics um, I do have a bunch of vitamins already listed on my hookedonpicking.com store so you can check those out but I'm probably gonna take those off the store and go ahead and put them in my garage sale and this the garage sale is on Saturday so check out hookedonpicking.com right now if you want some good deals yeah uh, Thompson Jennings says do you sell non clothing items on Poshmark and how do they do um, so I've sold a few non-clothing items on Poshmark, but it's because they're in the home category. Um, I tried to sell gift baskets, didn't really work out real well, but they probably work out great now that they added the home category. So the um, I've sold makeup, 
that did okay. Um, jewelry sells good because um, I've actually sold jewelry that my daughter has made. And so she's really excited to make money on Poshmark. And then, um, yeah, like I said, um, some of the home decor, like picture frame style of things. Yes. Christopher West says, are there any apps for eBay that you find helpful besides the eBay app? Um, not really. Um, I used one that's called Bybot Pro that actually um, shows you the eBay and Amazon market when you scan an item, which market is it going to sell the best on? And I did um, a walkthrough uh, with the owner of Bybot Pro where she explained all the stuff that it does. And so check out Bybot Pro. I also have a link in the description for that one. So that one will tell you, does it sell better on the Amazon marketplace? It even gives you options for the other countries. So Amazon Mexico, Amazon Europe, Amazon Australia. Will it sell better on those platforms rather than Amazon? Amazon.com, and then the same thing for eBay. It does cross um, the country lines with that as well. Mace Crawford says the Legos they would price at fifteen dollars. So for the whole thing, for the whole thing, only fifteen dollars. She wants to come and buy it for fifteen. <laughs> eh, you know, it's yeah. A, hey, it's a I want it gone. You know, bucks, yeah, yeah I want it out of here. Them, I guess I'm, I like to price things to move. Oh, one other thing, because we're doing a garage sale. Um, buy a pricing gun. It will save your life. I, I have it over there in the drawer, and I think I talked to you guys about it last time I did a garage sale, but it's the most glorious thing, and they're like $18, super cheap, and they come with lots of extra rolls of stickers, and so that's totally worth it when doing a garage sale. Uh, Thompson Jennings says the uh, the Unikitty plush, five bucks yeah. should do with it. Five bucks. That'd be cool if you get five bucks for yeah. a plush in the yard yeah. sale. Let's see here. Do you uh, ever sell at flea markets? I I love selling at flea markets. I have never sold at a flea market because I don't have time. Yep. <laughs> That's really the biggest reason. Tex Avery says, how long did it take you to learn to do this full time? Well, I've been doing it full time for four years, but we've dabbled in it for kind of about, I don't know, 14 or 15 years is when we started like selling our old textbooks from college. Um, and that, that was kind of like a one or a two, let's buy diapers kind of thing, you know? And then, um, and then we, I really got serious about four years ago. Alicia Cole says, my 17 year old says $50 on the Legos. It's getting higher. Okay, I like From the 15 I like the, to 50 I right there. Well, I'll have to tell you eventually what it's going to be sold for. Oh, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys is since I'm doing this yard sale, what do you want me to film? Do you want me to film the setup process? Do you want me to film the the actual sale? You know, of course I can put it in super speed so because you don't want to watch eight hours of us just sitting here. But um, you know, what would you like to see of this actual sale and how much I'm going to make? Um, sorry, the unicorn is distracting me. Um, and so what would you like for me to film? You know, the things that we lay out on the table. So let me know that um, and then I'll make sure that I try to include that. Thomas Jennings says that she would sell the bath bombs at a garage sale for a dollar each. Okay. Where are those bath bombs? These there they here, are. And Buck a here. piece. Buck a piece. That would be Turn awesome. Turn into the dollar store. Uh, Ashley says, hi from Southern Illinois. Mr. Tasman69 says, you're lagging. Hopefully that is corrected now. Sorry, we yeah. live in the country. Fat Elvis Good says, how long did it take for your Poshmark to really get going? I don't see my items moving as quick as I had hoped. Okay, so Poshmark, I would say we had sales in the first week, not very many, but the biggest thing that we had to learn was how to share on Poshmark. And so I have a video all about Poshmark sharing. If you can't find it for whatever reason, it should be under the how-to section of my YouTube channel. But if you cannot find it, please send me an email and I'll send you the direct link because I've got it saved on my computer. And so um, Poshmark sharing is a big deal and that's the, the biggest way that we get the majority of the sales that we do is because we share a lot. Lost Treasure 73 says, I would list those Legos on eBay for 150 bucks or best offer. So we have some Legos on there. Yeah, we do have some. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for specific colors, we sell basically 100 pieces at 975 is like dirt cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gladys W says, I was thinking $40 for the Legos. For beauty products, it depends. One to $4. Bath bombs, a dollar each. Okay, awesome. Uh, Lost Treasure 73, Legos sell well for good money on eBay. Yes, yes they, they have. Do. They do. Uh, Fat Elvis Good says, do you have an app that will allow you to list on Poshmark and other online outlets like eBay? 
Um, I no, you have to use the individual app. So if you're going to list on Poshmark, you have to use the Poshmark app. If you're going to list on eBay, you have to use the eBay app. I know that there are programs out there that will do multi-platform listing or, or maybe multi-platform tracking. I just haven't found one that I really, really liked. And I like to keep a lot of my platforms separate just so I don't lose my mind and cross post things. Yes. Uh, Lost Treasure 73 says at a yard sale, she would price the Legos for 50 to $60. Okay. All of those Legos. Make some child's dream come true. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sherry Smith says, listing on Amazon, how do you list the products without creating a listing? I don't think I understand that part. Hold on a second. Listing on Amazon. Yeah, How do you list the saying. product without creating a listing? Okay, oh, so okay. on Amazon, you use an already established listing and find out if you are restricted or not. And so you pretty much just use the stock photo of the item that's already there and you become one of the sellers under that listing. Um, I have some listing on Amazon videos that you can check out. Um, I have one where I use my inventory lab system and then I have one, a really old one where I actually do the listing from Amazon Seller Central. Um, it's really old because I no longer list directly on Amazon Seller Central. I use a third-party inventory lab. But um, it's still relevant. The listing is still the same other than including box contents a little bit different. But um, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get to that section of including box contents. So if you can't find out how to list on Amazon or you wanted more insight on that, please let me know. Um, but I do have videos on my channel that cover all of those aspects. Um, and I screen share with my inventory lab listing as well. So so um, just check those out, and um, if you can't find them, hookedonpicking.com, shoot me a message. I'll try to respond the same day. Very good. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and if you'd like to donate, don't forget to do that either. Yeah, you can donate. Buy me a coffee. That's I need some right. espresso today because I got here. lots to set up. Fat Elvis Good says, are you paying to get traffic to your site, and are you selling much off your site, the Hooked on Pickin'? Um, I do not pay to get traffic to my site, and then this is the only avenue that really people know about Hooked on Pickin'. I mean, if you Google Hooked on Pickin', my website does come up. Um, and so, I mean, I do pop up in a Google search, but you have to know my name in order to do that. So, no, I don't pay extra to have people get uh, traffic to my site. Oh. We tried Facebook ads a couple of times, and it, it was kind of like, eh, yeah. it didn't really work out for us too well. Let's see, Mandy uh, says, I bought a bulk box. Now I'm sort of stuck with two heavy beanbag toss game board. Shipping is expensive and still mm -hmm. hasn't sold locally. Yard sales and Facebook listings. Any suggestion, suggestions? Uh, Facebook Marketplace would be my play, my suggestion to you. Um, that would be my only suggestion. You can do calculated shipping on eBay. That's an option as well. But you're right. When it weighs a lot, sometimes that is a deterrent. Also, when you do calculated shipping on eBay, don't be afraid to open up to international sellers. There's a lot of times we can get stuff here in the States that international buyers cannot find. And so it may be that um, somebody wants something like that that lives in Europe or Australia or another country. And so um, check that out. Just put the weight in, and that way it calculates per what country you're shipping it to. Very good. Uh, Methyl says, good morning and thanks for sharing and two hearts. Awesome. Ashley says, Lego, she would do $25 at the garage sale. Okay. Let's see. Fat Elvis uh, Good says, start to finish on the garage sale. Start to finish would be good. So. Yeah. Uh, Ashley says, film it all. <laughs> you know, uh, I have a weird thought here. Would you guys like it if we just kept a camera running for eight hours? And then, would you want to see that? I don't know if somebody would want to see that or not. But Yeah, because I could turn my webcam on and just have it record, uh, you know, from my webcam yeah. over there in the corner. And I don't know. Tell, tell us if you would like, yeah. like that. You would... I mean, obviously, when I post that video, I'll, I'll speed it all up so we're, you yeah. know, not watching yeah, eight hours of Yeah, could be reasonable. Filming. Do you want us to speed it up? Do you want us, did you, would you like to watch an eight-hour eight hour garage sale? I don't know. Somebody might. Let's see. Gladys W., I would love to see a speed-up version of Setup. Then an overview of how it goes. Okay. Okay, great. Alicia Cole says, uh, I have so much inventory in my house that's not moving. I'm going to price everything a dollar and get rid of it in a yard sale. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's kind of yeah, what we're doing. So if you want to scan, if you yep. want to scan over here. Absolutely. Uh, this is what we're pretty much going to put on the yard sale. 
all. Um, I've got too much stuff. Those little white boxes you see there underneath the wrestler guy are all really, really super nice. Nutcrackers. Those are actually listed on my hookedonpicking.com store. That's a great gift for someone. Lots of duplicates of shoes. I do have all my shoes listed on Poshmark. Um, but you know, I've got, you know, sometimes 10 or 12 pairs of each kind. And so we're going to put a lot of the clothing and stuff you see in this box. Um, you know, on uh, the garage sale, just stuff that was just like miscellaneous items that weren't uh, able to be found on the Amazon marketplace. And they just weren't something that I really wanted to spend the time photographing for the Poshmark store. So, um, you know, that's kind of what we got going on. We've got some things also behind um, that we're also going to um, ship, but it's mostly boxed up in brown boxes that we'll have to unbox. So yeah, we've got a lot that we're going to be able to put out. We actually picked up six tables and borrowed from our church. And then we've got these three here that we're going to be using. And then we've got some pallets um, currently uh, that way that we're going to actually stack, um, make them into tables uh, because I've currently got five pallets sitting in the warehouse. So we're going to roll some out onto the porch so they're out of this space um, and then kind of just put a not for sale sign on them and then the everything else in here will be sold. Gladys W donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. Awesome! Thanks Gladys She's... and I loved our chat on yeah. consultation that was awesome. If you're interested in more detailed information just like Gladys you can sign up for a consultation call and hooked on picking.com. I love giving advice and ask anybody who's done a consultation call I talk just this fast on the call <laughs> so when you, you when you call and get your 30 minute time frame or 60 or 90 minute time frame you're gonna get your money's worth, I promise. This is the way Heather is all the time. Yeah, this is Gl how I talk all the time. Gladys W. says, enjoy the coffee. Thank says, you. Thank you for all you do. Uh, Sherry Smith says, thank you. Charles Bennett says, hi, Heather and Paul from Wyoming. Awesome. Deb83 says, is there a big learning curve to start reselling liquidation items full time? I have a good amount of capital to start with. Okay, so the one warning that I give anybody who already has capital to work with is... Do your research before you buy, okay? Because you have capital, sometimes you don't, um, sometimes you're not as under the gun with doing the research and being as careful. Um, I'm not saying that that's what you're gonna do, but I started with very little money. I started with $300 um, and then it grew to this. And so uh, you asked the question, is there a big learning curve? I think nowadays there's not as big of a learning curve simply because you've got a lot of resources with other YouTubers giving you a step-by-step -step on how to sign up on Amazon, how to list on Amazon, how to sell on Amazon, and the same thing for the other platforms of eBay, Poshmark, Macari. You can always find a YouTuber that's going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on exactly how to do that. And so um, I would definitely recommend utilizing the free YouTube options for um, listing. I have a ton of how to list um, videos and how-to videos. Anytime you do a consultation call, I give you a, a huge list of, of ones that are going to help you out on the specific platform that you're interested in. So I think the learning curve is much smaller than when I started for sure. And I started... Uh, really, really um, heavy about four years ago. Our Life the Keto Way says, Hi there, I love your channel. You have inspired me to begin selling so far so good. Do you have any videos of the photographing your items and how to speed that process up? Um, I utilize uh, my smartphone and the, a lot of the filters on my smartphone. Um, I would suggest, um, you took it down from behind me, but I just put up, if you want to scan over, my newest edition. Um, of that is my if you look right above the I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me that's basically my photo why don't uh, you backdrop. unclip your uh, yeah, microphone, let me unclip just, microphone just just clip it there like right on there and then you can show them this is a real Heather had this idea I think it's a genius idea uh, see the mannequin there right now watch what she's gonna do isn't that cool I think that's amazing. And then if you want to if you want to tell them a lighter background. Right, lighter background. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? Bam. She's amazing, isn't she? Absolutely amazing. 
So one thing that I'm going to do is whenever I photograph from that little space, I will put a table in, um, in front of that. And so if I have shoes or anything like that, I can actually take the backdrop, lay it across the table, and then have the whole table covered as well as that. But then, you know, for my mannequin, obviously, I just leave it on the floor and take pictures like that. I've also got a wood background that's in route still coming to be added to that. But I paid, I want to say about 30 or $40 for the bracket system. And then all I had to do was go and buy PVC pipe the right uh, diameter, and then I just got Velcro tape and, and then bought the vinyl backdrops. So it didn't, it maybe probably in total cost me about $75 just to have that set up. Ashley and Lost Treasure 73 are both saying yes, they want to see the entire uh, garage sale live. Okay. Said sure, other YouTubers do that. Uh, let's see. KOH Merchandise says this is my first year on Poshmark. Is Labor Day weekend typically a good selling time for you? Um, summer is slow for me. Um, I have honestly only been on Poshmark for about a year. And so, um, as far as trends, I'm not real sure. So those of you who have sold on Poshmark longer than a year, is Labor Day a good, uh, weekend seller or are people too busy? I have a tendency to recognize that usually when it's holiday times, um, the specific holiday, they're a little bit more busy, but the days prior to, because people are off work, Prior to and afterwards, usually I'll find that my sales pick up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So, um, because people have more downtime right. to really For, peruse. Fourth quarter's coming. That's when most. Yeah. Uh, fourth quarter is pretty much just a few weeks away. Um, you hit the end of August and you're full on into Christmas shopping. I know that sounds crazy early, but that's when people start. So make sure you start loading your store real, real heavy with a lot of items. I currently have a little over 600 items on my Poshmark store, so I'm excited to really get a lot of that kind of moving. A um, lot of my stuff uh, recently has been brand new with tags because of some of the really nice liquidation stuff that I've been getting. Ashley says, nutcrackers, yes, I've been looking for one. My dad used to crack pecans all the time. Yeah, these are super nice. So go to hookedonpicking.com. You can pick one up, and I'll ship it directly to you. You buy it today, I'll ship it today. Yep. Diana says the Legos are every kid's dream and every parent's nightmare. Absolutely. Yes, literally, I think we need to fight uh, our wars by just throwing Legos on the floor and that's making right. our enemy step on them. That's right. Because that would be, that's how we would win. Nothing will make you pray harder than stepping on a Lego. Yes, yes. Gladys W. says it was super helpful and she is such a joy to talk to. I would recommend it completely. Oh, he's, she's talking about consultation Consultations. calls. Consultations. Yep. Alicia Cole, I got a lot of health and beauty from Bulk. Is there any way to get it on Amazon? Yes. Uh, well, I was ungated in health and beauty, so you have to try to get ungated in each specific category. Sometimes it's per brand, uh, and then sometimes it's per category. So go ahead and try to do the request approval. It does not harm your account to request approval and then get denied approval for whatever reason. It doesn't harm your account to do that on Amazon, so I usually try to request approval on any category that I feel like I can sell in. Gladys W. says, how did you set that up, your bracket system over there? I would love to do something like those backdrops in my office. Yeah, um, if you want, uh, if you like that bracket system, let me know. I bought it right off Amazon. Um, I can send you the link of the exact one that I bought, and I just drywall screwed it right into the wall and then bought the PVC pipe, and then it comes with all the other spinny apparatuses and the weighted chains. You have to be awesome like Heather, though. <laughs> Our Life, the Kato Way says, wow, I need that. You're awesome. Yes, she is. Emily says, I know y'all don't swear, but you guys are effing cute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Deb83 says, do you recommend using ungating services for Amazon? Um, some people use ungating services. I know a lot of some of the liquidators I work with will um, use kind of a broker to help you get ungated. I've never personally used it myself. There were a lot of categories I was on ungated in early on um, that I, I am hearing from a lot of new sellers that's more difficult to get ungated in. But um, it's really not that difficult. Just get the right documentation, buy from the right wholesalers, distributors, and usually you can get ungated. And once you're ungated in that particular category, you can sell, you know, that brand, regardless of where you get it. Very good. Let's see. What sells best, or Gladys says, what sells best in fourth quarter? Everything. Uh, toys. Toys is my go-to for fourth quarter because it's Christmas. You know, people buy a lot of toys. So anything that you think somebody would like for Christmas sells really well. 
Amber says, do shoes and clothes sell more during fourth quarter too? Yeah, everything picks up in fourth quarter, um, especially like a lot of women's clothing sells well in fourth quarter simply because, you know, that's what you buy for mom and dad and sister and daughter and all that thing. If this makes sense, we used to sell toilet paper in fourth quarter. Yes. We used to sell toilet Everything paper. Everything sells. Everything sells. Uh, Rhonda says, what is ungating? Okay, ungating is basically meaning that you're restricted in a particular category on Amazon. And so you just actually fill out paperwork or click a button that says request approval. And then you're then uh, approved or not approved unless you have documentation um, in a specific category or brand. So ungating is basically just unlocking a specific brand or category on Amazon to sell on. It's like the gate is locked. Yes. You cannot sell the, on that. The ungated is, is the ungated. gate is open. Ashley says, post the link for the backdrop, backdrop in the description. Yeah, we will do. Uh, our life, the keto way says, yes, please provide the link. Gladys W says, I'll email you if you can email me back the link. Thank you. She is awesome. Yes, she is. Sharon. Man, I should have sold those things. I that know. made a lot of money. I know. Sharon says, read more about the... Okay, never mind. Uh, Alicia Cole says, what about the proof uh, for where you bought H&B for uh, health and beauty for Amazon? Do I get it from bulk? No, liquidators do not provide, that's not the right invoice that you need to be able to submit on Amazon. You have to find a wholesale distributor that either gets it direct from the wholesaler um, or distributor. And so it has to be brand new, direct from manufacturer or distributor. Um, right. Sorry, I kept saying wholesaler. That's not right. It's manufacturer or distributor. So uh, liquidation companies don't count for getting ungated on Amazon. Okay, let's see. Ron Smith says, thank you. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Alicia, or student, not Alicia. Anita says, I have lots of baby clothes and baby items with tags. Would that be good to sell on Amazon? Yes. Yep, yep. especially with tags. Um, new stuff sells the best on Amazon because you can possibly get the buy box. I would suggest selling it FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, and sending it into the warehouse. That's going to go the best. Right. Much harder to sell if it's used, Anita. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Yep. Okay, we were caught up. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, so I think we're going to try to film as much as possible. We'll have to put signs out saying you're on camera um, and letting uh, all my customers know and things like that. But I'm excited. Last time I made $700 on my two days, and one of the days it totally rained. And so I'm excited about um, how well I'm going to do. Uh, the last time I sold, it was the town-wide garage sale. So I'm curious to see how well I do with it not being the citywide garage sales. People aren't coming specifically to my town for garage sales that weekend. Um, but we do live kind of on the main drag of our... Uh, we do live just off the main drag, and so I can put a sign on the main drag, hopefully directing people. I have very, very bright colored signs that are going to be super helpful that I used last time. It's funny. You don't know what to do with that bulk palette stuff. Let me show you. <laughs> this is how I use my bulk palettes, reinforcing my uh, yard sale signs. So um, uh, just make sure you put all the detailed information on there. Those are the ones I did last time. And so all I'm going to do is use one of my big shipping labels, cover it up, put new times on it. Um, because obviously Friday from 3 to 7, we can't do this time. Um, but we can do earlier in the day Friday and then we're going to do eight to one on Saturday. The one thing I want you to know that is when you do a garage sale, it says eight to one on the sign. We had people rolling up to our place at six. So be ready to open two hours before your, uh, suggested open time because, um, you know, you got people out there wanting to find a good deal. And especially if you open earlier because you're going to catch people on the way to work. It's people who sometimes work on Saturdays or Fridays. And so that's an option as well. Very good. Let's see here. Thompson Jennings says, you can't sell used clothing on Amazon? Yes, you can sell used clothing on Amazon. They uh, Just the new stuff sells better and you won't get the buy box if it's a used item if someone is selling a new one. But yes, you can sell used clothing on Amazon. Uh, I don't do it very frequently, but I, ha I sell used lots of things on Amazon. But you just have to make sure you severely undercut it. So like if the item is selling for $30, you're going to want to list yours for anywhere from 20 to 15 And so you need to make sure that you make that dramatic drop if it is a used item. Very good. Let's see. I'm trying to look here. Alicia says thank you. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Nancy Gross says, hi, Heather. Hello. Uh, Gladys W. said, that's an awesome idea. Uh, let's see. Viking Mother says, hi, everyone. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then Ashley says, uh, yeah, someone please get Sharon off here. I'm trying, guys, but it's not letting me All right. completely block yeah. Sharon. So Just keep making your comments. He'll scroll past the yep. ones that are not appropriate. Um, and so... Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of toys that are going to be on there. I even have another whole tote this size full of health and beauty. That has a lot of like allergy sprays and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to sell that. Lots of hats, lots of clothing. Um, some of the things that I am going to do is I'm going to actually put out stuff that I have currently listed. If I have multiples listed on Poshmark, I will put it out for garage sale and then just make adjustments as they sell. And so that's an option too as well. The nice thing for me is I do have my computer um, set up right in my space. And so as soon as someone walks through, you know, Paul will take the money and then, um, you know, I'll go ahead and adjust the quantities of that particular listing. So then um, I also am going to my daughters, they get the entrepreneur bug. And so last time um, my daughters made lemonade and cookies and cupcakes. And so they're already talking about the plan that they have working together to make more money uh, for the, themselves to, so that they can buy some fun things for school. And so, I mean, I buy all their school supplies, but sometimes they like locker accessories and, and things like that. So um, they're going to be making money as well. Um, and so, you know, it is a whole family affair when we do things like this and we get the whole family involved. And so if I do do a live stream, you may see them on video. They'll probably wave at the video for you, but um, they're awesome little entrepreneurs as well. Uh, I don't know that they'll quite go into my exact business, but um, my youngest loves to make jewelry and things like that. And she's very, very good at it um, on my Poshmark store. So hopefully um, that'll be an encouragement to maybe you could, you know, show your youngins to say, hey, look, they can even do it too. And that'll be an encouragement to them. So. Hey, everybody. I think I just figured out how to, to block Sharon. I think the comments are removed now. Okay. Sorry about that. We can't control that very much. And if you wanted to report her, you're okay to do it. Heather does. Heather didn't even get to see the comments. So no, I don't look we'll, at the We'll keep it a secret between me and you guys. But uh, it was nothing against you, Heather. It was just straight up stupidity. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Viking Mother. Yep. Okay. Yes. Thank you guys for doing that and being patient. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Kelly Kreider says, don't forget to get some water bottles for your children to sell too. Yes. Yes. We, we sell water bottles, and then if you saw my last garage sale, we also sell Ski, which is a Mountain Dew style of drink yeah. bottled right here in this county. And so you can't get it anywhere else. It's, yeah. it's spelled S-K-I. Believe it or not, we used to sell Ski on Amazon in a 12-pack. Yes. Shocking, but yes, we actually did. Yes. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, ski is a kind of a neat drink to be able to have. Um, if you ever come one day visit, we should do like a giveaway of it because it's, it's not found too much farther out, out here. Yeah, it's pretty much in this county and that's it. Um, my husband actually grew up 40 minutes away from here and he never heard of it before we moved here. So it's exclusive yeah. to our county. Very good. Alicia says, I've tried to get uh, my son interested. No luck so far. Well, yeah. you know, maybe that'll, maybe the garage sale will help him get interested. Maybe at the end, we'll find out how much my daughter's made and we can do a little interview on how much they made and, and that might be an interesting thing as well. Yeah. Gladys W. says she uh, should sell her jewelry at the garage sale to her own stand. Yes, yes. Yes. Nobody can say no to a cute little girl, right? That sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. KOH Merchandise says, I'm trying to talk my 13-year-old into sharing uh, my Poshmark closet for five <laughs> bucks a week. <laughs> yes, that's the most daunting part of Poshmark is the sharing aspect, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Rhonda says, so if you were starting out with pallets, do you suggest, who do you suggest I start with? Um, I like bulk because you can do a lot of research, although their prices have gone up, so you really got to be a bit picky. Um, one thing I would suggest in searching on bulk is go ahead and utilize their watch list. So when you have an account with them, if you find one you like, but you're like, oh, it's a little bit steep price-wise, go ahead and put it in your watch list and then just check that every day because every once in a while, if it sits there long enough, they do lower the price. You do have to be aware, though, that if you put it in your watch list and don't buy it, someone can buy it out from underneath you. Just because it's in your watch list doesn't mean it's exclusively yours. And so, um, but that's the best way that I would say because it's a it's a manifested load. Um, if you want to get 
one from via trading just talk back and forth with your sales manager um you know take as long as you like to make a purchase you know there's no high pressure kind of thing um my sales manager i go back and forth for like i said for about a week week and a half sometimes um to make sure i get exactly what i want in a palette but i have as of late made more money from via trading, flipping things from via trading than I have from bulk. I still make positive money from bulk, but I get more from via trading, I think, because I'm real picky and I work well with my sales manager. And now I kind of know the system of what I like to order from them. Very good. Anita says, my mother has lots of comforters, uh, bath items, some that are brand new. Where do you... Uh, where do you think is the best platform to sell on? Well, I definitely think that Poshmark home category would be a good place to start because that's a new um, category for Poshmark. If you can find it on Amazon, send it to Amazon. The biggest thing with comforters though is the fees are much higher on comforters because of the size and the weight of the item and the space it takes up in the warehouse. So just make sure you use your uh, Amazon seller app and calculate the fees because it will be based off of the size and the weight of that particular comforter. So that would be the one thing that I would say um, just to be wary of, but if you can get it to sell on Amazon, send it to FBA and, and get it to sell on Amazon. And then secondary, if you don't want to pay those high fees or the fees are too high to sell it on Amazon, like there's no money in it anymore, try Poshmark. And then, um, you know, just make sure it doesn't weigh over five pounds for Poshmark because they charge extra to ship it with Poshmark and that comes directly out of your pocket. Teresa says, hey, Heather. Hey, Teresa. <laughs> Alicia says, I would like to see that your daughter's earnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley says, always try to sell on Amazon first. Yes, yeah. always. Uh, Jada says, exactly, Cecilia. Many of us are aware of the dangers posted by... Uh, okay. I don't know why this turned into this, guys. Let's see. Kelly Kreider says, how does someone else share your closet? Oh, um, yeah, because she said her son was sharing. Basically, it's their Poshmark app. So she's yeah. either probably handing her phone to her right. son... Or right. he's sitting down at the desktop and logging in as them. Um, and so whoever shares your Poshmark store needs to have full access to your Poshmark store. So, like, there will be times that Paul and I sit in our recliners at night and we're just nominally watching a show. And he'll be sharing from the top down and of the closet and I'd be sharing from the bottom up from the closet. And so then we get it done much faster. And so you can share at the same time as somebody else and get it done faster. Um, but they have to have full access to the Poshmark store. So either her son has downloaded the Poshmark app onto his phone and logged in as her or, um, or he's using the desktop or whatever. So yeah. That's how you have someone else share it. That's right. Viking's mother said, I wrote to bulk because the prices have gotten so high, I think they have lost their minds. I feel like they have as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Although we just purchased two. Yeah, we have so, two sitting here from bulk. Uh, Charlotte says, I usually have grab bags that have items in them that are not expensive. The kids love them. Oh, that's a good idea. Good idea. Uh, Our Life the Keto Way says, is there a sharing or following aspect to Mercari, or do you just list it and that's it? Um... Like I'm not eBay. sure. It's like uh, eBay. I, oh, Macari is like eBay. Like okay. EBay. I don't, no I don't sell on Macari. He knows, Paul knows more research on Macari. And then those of you who are Macari sellers, go ahead and comment in the section in the live stream to give them more information on the Macari app. Yeah. But yeah, it's like eBay. So you just list it, let it sit, and then there it goes. Tex Avery says, are all bulk pallets buy it now or are some auctions? I think they do have some auctions. They do. I bought one auction style. It did not go well, and I just haven't bought auction style since then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Kristen says, uh, okay. Uh, Gladys Toby says, yes, I agree. Via trading, shipping is too high for me, too. I am waiting until I can order multiple pallets. Yeah, via trading um, is about equal to bulk, I think, uh, unless you order, like, like they were saying, more than one. So... Uh, Teresa is saying, Decatur, Illinois says, hey. Awesome. Yeah. There's crazy comments going on right now on the live stream, and I don't see any of them because my husband is <laughs> awesome, and he filters them for me. I am trying, guys. So, but, but it's, it's gone a little bit crazy, um, but a we're lot learning of trolls how to about. block people. <laughs> uh, Alicia says, how many times should I share in a day on Poshmark? Uh, I would say three for sure. Um, prime selling times are people when people are off work. And so believe it or not, um, about 9 PM central standard time was a good time for us because that's about 7 PM on the West coast. And so take into consideration your time zones when you're, uh, sharing. So you're obviously not going to want to share at like 6 AM because it's like, you know, 
4 a.m. on the West Coast. But if you could share, you know, on regular um, normal times that people would be awake, that's usually so maybe like one in the morning, one in the middle of the day and then um, one in the evening time. I try to have less than eight hours be um, between my share times. So make sure they're you know, keep under that. And a lot of times I'll have uh, two to four hours between my share times, and that usually is beneficial, unless, of course, it's overnight. Very good. Uh, it's your girl, Emily. It says, my son got interested in reselling with me, and last week he made over $200, and he is 12 years old. Nice. Thank you so, thank you so much for your videos. Uh, it helps keep me going. Well, and the cool thing about that is when he goes to college, he could probably still continue to do the reselling, situ you know, game. Uh, and he won't have to look for a job. Or there were a lot of people in college that I remember way back in the day, you know, ancient times when we were in college, um, that, they, uh, that they pretty much... Um, <laughs> Paul had a friend that would buy suit coats from Goodwill, take it to the dry cleaner, and then flip them on eBay for like $20 to $40 of profit. And so that was, uh, that was really, really super beneficial. So yeah, so that was, that's something that's uh, definitely a good way to make money. I mean, the world has gotten a lot, lot smaller because of the online world and being able to sell pretty much anywhere. I mean, I sell a lot of stuff worldwide. Um, and so that's an option for you um, to be able to make extra income. If you're, it started out for me just buying extra diapers, then it turned into, uh, now we have enough money to go to the restaurant. Um, and now we can pay for vacations all the way to to, it's actually a full-time income um, and you know I mean we're very frugal with our money anyway we don't live you know on the high life but we definitely can do things for our kids like actually throw like you know birthday parties for our kids where they get to invite a lot of friends to a specific location things like that that we couldn't do in the past um, simply because you know pastors don't make a lot of money and so um, and so that's kind of how it started was let's just have a little extra cash. And so I work a lot of hours on this job and a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do that. I can't invest the time. You don't have to invest the time. Just know that the amount of time that you invest is going to be directly reflected in how much money you make. So if you invest 10 hours, you're going to get equivalent to 10 hours worth of pay. Um, if you invest 40 hours, then you're going to get obviously four times the amount of money, roughly speaking. You know what I mean? It's obviously a flexible kind of income. Amber says, uh, y'all are popular today. The trolls take time to comment. Love a, laugh out loud. Love y'all. <laughs> awesome. uh, Our Life the Cato Way says, thank you so much. Nancy Gross says, I have Mercari. You have to give discounts in order for it to move up uh, for everyone to see. I think that's, that's okay. correct, too. Okay, all right. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. To Topazio, I think, says, hi, Heather. Can you ship items on Poshmark in an envelope? Um, yeah, you can ship on an envelope. I think they ship everything priority mail with a label, but yeah, as long as it's packaged well, I don't think it matters what you put it in, as long as it's like per post office standards. Very good. Jennifer R says, hi, Heather and Paul. Nice to see you both. Uh, can you sell kids bath sets like the Minnie Mouse bath set you showed in your unboxing? I have tons. Yes. yes. We actually uh, sent those into Amazon. Um, and they're going to be sold on the Amazon platform. Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, let's see. Ashley says, it's your girl, Emily. That's so awesome. Congrats. Uh, Sherry says, so sorry, guys. Paul and Heather are wonderful. Let's see. Thomas says, uh, I love your video, Heather. And they're another troll. And Indy Kitty says, uh... You are doing the environment good, recycling things that might be thrown away. Yes. Yeah, for sure. All of this stuff would have been in the landfill. So, and I know a lot not. of liquidators, they have options for donating things that they um, don't put in some of their pallets and stuff. That was one thing we learned at Bulk is that they do recycle and give a lot of stuff to like homeless shelters and things like that. So that was kind of neat to find out as well. Uh, Gerald says, how much would I have to invest to make $1,000 a week in profit? Uh, it really depends on the products you pick. Uh, just start small, um, and you know, like I said, I started with three hundred dollars, and you know, it can just kind of grow from there. And it also depends on how much work you're willing to put into it. Just do a lot of research on what you're buying and how much is it selling for. Check all the platforms. 
um, not just Amazon. So check Amazon. It's going for this amount of money. eBay, it's selling for this amount of money. My fee structure will be, you know, this much money. And so just do a lot of research on that. And the more effort you put into it, the better you're going to be educated on what you particularly buy. There's lots of times that I do research for three, four hours on a particular product. And then I find out, you know, what, it's really not good enough to sell. And so sometimes you do have a bust like that, but um, more often than not, and as you do it more, you'll get a little bit uh, better at picking the particular items. Our Life the Kato Way says, where would you suggest to buy or find boxes? Um, well, I would suggest if you're just starting out, start in the retail world, start thrift stores, retails, because then you're buying one to two items. You can use your Amazon seller app. You can use your eBay app, you know, filtering with completed listings and you can just buy one or two items. You're not investing $300 into a case. Um, and then realizing, okay, 50% of this is not even worth reselling, which has happened to me before. There's been plenty of bulks and, um, pallets and cases I've put out where I literally busted. I didn't make enough money. Um, and so um, I suggest starting in the retail world just to get your feet kind of wet, sell those first few items, get the bug, and then um, then you'll be better equipped to do the research uh, to be able to sell a full pallet or a full case. Let's see. Calvin says, have you heard of Barton Discounts out of Indianapolis, Indiana? Yes. Yes, we have. It looks really cool. Calvin, if you're connected with them, uh, send us a message. I'd love to talk with you, see if we can't do like a tour yeah, like we love. did with Bulk and Via Trading. Yeah, but we'd love to come up there. We haven't it's ordered not... anything, but uh, that's, that's a possibility yeah. to do. Yeah, we'd love to do a tour of the place if you know uh, the owners or if you are one of the owners or whatever. Right. Thompson Jennings says, hit the like button. Yes, thank you for the 30 to have already. Yeah, and if you can't find your like button, close the live chat and then hit the like button and then reopen the live chat. Very good. Uh, Ashley says, yes, Calvin, I've searched them and watched their video. Love the 24 boxes. Awesome. Perfect. All right. So hopefully this has given you some insights on how to sell um, when you can't move the stuff online. Because not everything sells online well. Um, if people put it in their hands, sometimes they're more apt to buy it. That's why brick and mortar stores still exist. But we're going to try to film as much as we can of our garage sale and let you know how our profits go. Like I said, I hope like, last time it was $700 that we made. I don't have as many small appliances as I did this last time, but I'm going to try to put out more product. Um, um, and it's also not our town-wide garage sale. So I'm going to see how all of those factors affect my sales. Uh, we'll see how much my girls make if they uh, so choose to do the baking um, aspect of the reselling and see how uh, they do with their little entrepreneurial spirits. And then hopefully this will be uh, an inspiration to you. I'll let you know what some of the pitfalls were, some of the mistakes that I made during the garage sale, and some of the, the things that I feel like I did right during the garage sale. Um, and the biggest thing that I know is you got to stay really engaged with anybody who walks into your sale um, and talk to them. Yeah, we got another question. Hey, just a quick note from the cameraman. I am a pastor uh, and uh, I am a Christian, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not racist one little bit. No. And uh, we believe that God created every person and gives them worth. Uh, there's one race, the human race, and uh, the Lord is the one that took care of all of that. So so we don't support any of those troll comments. So sorry, just had to say a few things about that there. Yeah, thanks for clarifying so, that. Uh, yeah. Most people who watch my channel know where I stand. So hopefully it's been helpful and um, you've learned some things today about reselling. Uh, thanks for uh, um, you know commenting and hitting the like, thumbs up button. And Gladys, thank you so much for your donation. I will definitely have a coffee on you. And um, we will catch you on the next video. Remember Thursdays, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Check out my hookedonpicking.com because all the stuff is hopefully going to be all sold. And we will show you some video in the future of how well the sale goes. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.